center cap off, use a straight blade screwdriver, and just pry in there, slide that off. Use a 19 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. Remove the wheel. Use a 13 millimeter socket, take these two bolts out. Now I'm going to pry the caliper off just with a pry bar. And then take a brake caliper hanger and find a place that you can hang it from, whether it's the upper control arm or the coil spring. Just make sure there's no tension on the brake hose. Take the brake pads off. Now I'm going to take these two bolts out for the caliper bracket. Use an 18 millimeter socket. those bolts out and grab the bracket and just slide it off the rotor. Now we can pull the rotor off. If it's stuck on there, you can use a hammer and hit in these locations. Just be careful of the studs. And you can also thread in two bolts as you tighten those up. That's going to push the rotor out. Just uh, be careful when you do that. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. Slide that off. Take a wire brush and just clean this up. Get any rust off. That right, looks good. Take a thin coat of anti-seize and just put it on the hub surface. It's good. Take the rotor. We're gonna put it on backwards first. Take some brake parts cleaner. Wash the back side, take a rag, and wipe it down. Flip the rotor over the correct way. And then put the brake parts cleaner on this side. Wipe it down. I'm just gonna put a lug nut on backwards just to keep the rotor from flopping around. It makes it a little easier to install. That's just temporary. Remove this pad slide or clip. Use a straight blade screwdriver. Get under there. Take a wire brush and just clean up this rust. Take some brake caliper grease, just give it a thin coat. Take the new pad clips. Line that up. And take a little more grease, another thin coat. And do the same on the other side. Take the caliper pin out. Just slide this off. Take some brake parts cleaner, clean this up. If it's pretty rusty, you want to take a wire brush, clean this up. Take a little brake parts cleaner, spray it in the bracket. And then if you have one of these wire brushes, you can clean out the bracket. Just be careful, you don't want to ruin the rubber boot. And 
Now I take some caliper grease and put it on the pin. Reinstall the pin, make sure the boot seats properly, and then do the same to the other side. Now we need to install the pad warning clips. Just take these and they're gonna slide on just like this. If you look at the old pad clips, you can install them similar to how they were, just like that. So it's gonna pop out on the back like this. Same with this one. You wanna line it up with that little square right there. Just push it on. So when the pad is down, this spring part of the clip is up, just like that. You do the same on the rest of them. Now take the bracket, slide it over the rotor. Take the bolts, put the bolts back in. Now I'm gonna to torque these bolts to 110 foot-pounds. Install the brake pads, line those up. Take the brake caliper hanger off. Take a brake caliper compressing tool and you want to compress the caliper. Just go nice and slow as you do this. This is pushing the pistons back into the caliper, pushing the fluid through the hoses, back up into the master cylinder reservoir. Just go nice and slow. Once it's compressed, remove the tool. Now take this clip out. You can take a pocket screwdriver on the other side. Just pop this off and it should pop out fairly easily. Take the new one. It's gonna install the same way it came out. And if you just take a screwdriver and just pry this down a little bit, you can get that little, little ear to go right there. That's all the way in, just like that. Now the caliper is ready to go over the brake pads. Just slide that in position. And put the bolts in, get those started. And tighten these down. And torque these bolts to 31 foot-pounds. And remove the lug nut. Install the wheel. Put the lug nuts on. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 100 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. 